Metropolitan Hut All-Stars have arrived. We've got Lindholm, Jones, Henrique, Ladd, Zabanejad, Ghost Bear, Haglin, Oshi. Let's take a look at all of their individual stats and see which one of them you should buy. Decided we're going to start off with uh, Carl Haglin here. There's a lot of them on the auction house right now compared to pretty much every other card. So let's take a look at one of their stats. What the f 99 acceleration, 98 speed? What kind of card? He's got two points in Team Wheel, two points in Takeaway King. I don't think the Breakaway Boss matters too much. But this card's easily the best card that they have released in these HUT All-Star game sets. If you can find this card for under the price of two carbon collectibles, I highly recommend you pick him up. Next one is Andrew Ladd. I took one for the team, guys. I don't know if you were uh, paying attention to like that intro part where I was going over all the different players. But I ended up making this Andrew Ladd because nobody else wanted to make him. He is the least desired card out of all these guys that I'm going to mention here. And on top of that, like, his Movember isn't very much desired. Although, thanks to this uh, All-Star game set, his Movember did increase. He's got two points in Line Brawlers, so it it's kind of like he already just has less synergy points than everybody else. Wrecking Crew is nice, though. I like that. Unstoppable Force is okay. So this card is more known for its physicality than anything. All of his physical stats are probably like 94 or higher, especially if you get these synergies activated. He's got a pretty decent shot, but under 90 in skating is kind of rough. 79 in discipline also means you're going to be taking a lot of penalties with him if you go for those hits. Next, we're going to Henrique, who uh, I have never seen so many 92s in one card before. Here, I was thinking a balanced card was like, oh, you know, all the stats were between like these two or three numbers. Henrique, every stat is like a 92. He's got some nice synergies, and he's actually usable in the face-off dot, so I approve of this card. He's also faster than I thought it would be with uh, 92 skating. Lindholm. This one's cool because he has a common gold card. To think that the highest scoring player in HUT this year for Carolina was a common gold player. That's pretty crazy. Clearly everyone used him for his team wheel and of course he still has that one team wheel point to carry on if you want to continue using him. This guy's fast, he can pass pretty well, and if you have those synergies activated, well, he can be even faster and he can pass even better. Seth Jones, one of my favorite quick sell defenders. I like the fact that he's got 92 skating and he's pretty big. That's a really good combo to have as a defenseman. Synergies gonna suck though. Unstoppable Force and Bomber give him more power in his shot and his power is already pretty damn good. Movable object like increases his balance and stuff and that's not even necessary. I mean he's already got 93 for that. So it's a good card. Synergies don't really help him. The struggling Ghost Bear gets a Movember upgrade with this All-Star game card. One thing I don't like about Ghost Bear in this game is he's small for a defender, so it's tough to have him back there because he's just going to get run over. He's certainly fun if you want to lead a rush with him, though. I don't like Cycle Game on him, but I like 200-foot player and end-to-end -end bringing up his awareness into the high 90s. Other than that, though, not an interesting card to get, honestly. Mika Mika has 93 skating, with the X-Ray Synergy and 200-foot player. I like that a lot. I don't think it's necessary defensively, but I think it helps him quite a bit offensively. The movable object kind of makes it seem like he only has four Synergy points, though. While X-Ray is sex ray He also sucks at face-offs. Don't put him there. Last but not least, it's Oshi who also dons the sex ray Heavy hitter, though. Oh my god. What a waste, but his skating makes up for it. 94 acceleration, 93 speed is nice. I don't know if I'm feeling this card that much, but I think the two x-ray points make up for it, because then you just need five players with, the, with two x-ray points each, and then you'll be able to have that synergy. So if that's your goal, to get the ten x-ray points with five players, then I think Oshi is a good fit for you. Last thing I want to talk about is gold collectibles and carbon collectibles are now going to be in special packs for a whole day. Which is good. I like the fact that they're doing a one day test run, but keep in mind that there could be a lot of them flooding the market and the price of them might go down. It may be a good time to stock up on some of these collectibles when they're cheap because there's a pack out. Hopefully they'll then go back to their normal prices. Keep in mind this could be a permanent addition in the future. That'll do it for this video guys. 
Hope you guys enjoyed the overview of the Metropolitan HUD All-Stars. Let me know what you think of them. Let me know what you think of my little overview. And let me know what you think of EA after all this. Thanks for watching, guys.